Hey, welcome to the group, guys. Thank you for joining. You got Nate, Chris, Jeff. Today, we are doing a review on Monument Mesa. Grill. Mesa Series. Mesa Series. It's a brand new that came out, I believe, this year. Shirley was nice enough to send it to us. We're going to tell you about the construction of it, putting it together, and we're going to do a review. We're going to cook something on it. So stick around. Thank you, Michelle. By the way, I just gave their uh, griddle guys their spoons that you sent over. Always thank you, Michelle. It. Yes, thank you again. Beautiful. Very, very sweet, very kind. So Beautiful I, product. I volunteered to put this together because Chris put together the last one, and it shocked me that Chris was able to put together the last one. So. <laughs> nice. So, nice. So I had to see. This is, uh, I believe this is their entry level. Uh, what was the price on this? Yeah, 475. 475. I recorded most of me building this. Uh, you might see that in the corner. For a mid-priced or lower-priced grill, I mean, that's for what things cost right now, it was one of the best grills that I've ever put together as far as ease. It was, all the bolts were already in the holes, and so you just had to loosen them, and then everything was slotted. So you just hang it on the bolt and then snug up the bolt. It was a really great design. I'm sure anybody and everybody can do that, but they don't because that costs them more money, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, definitely. As as labor and Production-wise, yeah. But just generally speaking, I mean, you'll see in the clips, I just opened up the box and started putting it together. And uh, the pictures were clear as could be, which was great because I didn't read a thing. And you'll see maybe that I redid a couple things that I did backwards because I didn't read it. But uh, <laughs> overall, quality was great. But for me, it was like the instructions, very straightforward. And then the actual building, it was, was great. It was and nice. it's solid, right? It's so you give, it, you give nice it five stars on the assembly. I give it five and a half stars for a grill of this level. Like price-wise and stuff, that's, you're not gonna, I, I've built other grills. That, like when I had my condo and stuff, it took me like four hours and there was like a thousand pieces. It was yeah, great, yeah, yeah. you know, and it was a, not even close to the quality of the end result. But anyways, yeah, definitely a five out of five stars nice. for the build quality and for the build itself. I can see why Chris was able to build the last one. <laughs> so that's a, that's a kudos to Monument. Yeah. Nice yeah. job, Monument. Definitely. Feature-wise, there's a lot of features that I really like about this. First and foremost is actually the casters. Thing rolls really well, which, it, you know, it seems like a small thing, but it's important to me. I just, they're, they're good quality casters. Side burner is huge. I mean, sauces, side dishes, like uh, I'm gonna be cooking on this later this week. I'm gonna do frozen corn on the side burner. Just makes it easier to watch both at the same time, so I love that they have that. When are you, when are you gonna do some steamers? I'm not doing steamers. <laughs> Actually, I might do steamers on yes, it. Yes, you do it outside. But no, so those, just the casters and the side burner are a huge win for me. The window, you know, it does have a window. That that's I'm kind of indifferent over that. Time um, will tell. Time will tell. Uh, now that I, I have a wood stove, so I know how to keep it clean now. I I I like windows. You, why do you like windows? You can see inside. Because you can see. Yeah, inside. but what are you looking for? <laughs> well, because flare-ups. You see you know, smoke, yeah. but is there a flame Fire? or is it just smoke? Okay, all right. I guess that's yeah. fair. So these guys, they like the yeah, window. I do. Um, the overall construction is I'm I'm very happy with. It's solid. It feels solid. I believe this is aluminum on the side, which is nice because that won't rust, it won't rot. I love the fact that it is cast iron grates, not coated ceramic. Because cast iron, no matter how bad it gets, you can always bring it back. With the ceramic coated, once it starts to crack off, you're done, you're done. You're done. Uh, you've got four burners and not a huge grill, so I'm expecting it to have quite a bit of heat, which is nice. And then I'm really excited about this broil zone. So the broil zone for searing off steaks, especially marinated meats. With a fifth burner. Yeah, with your fifth burner. Especially marinated meats, I think that's gonna be great. 50,000 BTUs. 50,000 BTUs. It's, it's not a big grill to and have. a small area, not yeah. Much heat. <laughs> Very small area. This I think is great. I don't love that it's ceramic coated, but what I do love is that it locks in. So you got a second shelf. Do you know what I like about that? What? That it's higher than any other one that yeah, I've seen. Yeah, you can get back here and pull yeah. your burgers out, right? Yeah, I took mine off because it was just useless. It was too low. Yeah, it is very yeah. high, yeah. I agree. Yeah, so it's higher and it, it's locked in. It's not on a cleat where it slides back and forth yeah. because that's another problem I've run into. So kudos to you, Monument, on that. A couple of side hooks over here. These are actually important because you typically have your food here, right? So being able to, to hang your utensils off to the side. Your bottle is nice. opener. Get a little, I don't know how much you're gonna use that, but it's better to have one than not have one. Right, yeah. Right? You get the clips over here too, Nate, the hangers. So you got six clips, sides, yeah. six clips. That's nice. If there's a feature that I, or maybe a lack of a feature that I don't care for, it's the grease trap. So a little feedback, can you just hold that open, Chris? A little feedback to Monument. This is the grease trap, and I don't know if Jeff can get it on camera, but you got a couple of little screws that hang down here. 
So when this is full, and we all know that we don't empty it before it's full, uh, you're gonna try and get this out, and it's likely to get hung up on that. Okay, As you're so doing that, you're spilling grease everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> you'd have to take that tray out really carefully to not spill grease all inside. Now, Jeff, you said you had a workaround for your Weber. Why don't you tell us about that? Five gallon bucket that I just have under there. So what, just move the tank over and, and put got, a bucket right there? I piped mine in, I got the propane, uh, the uh, natural gas one. Yeah, it's definitely something that uh, I never emptied my grease trap on any of my grills, and yeah. it's always just overflowed, and then it rots out the bottom, and it's just... And it's a pain in, to clean. Pain. I think we're all guilty of that. I don't think a single company has really mastered that, the, so. the self-emptying. <laughs> I would love to see a self emptying, but yeah. no, I mean, I think it's a great union. I'm looking forward to using it. Don't forget the button here. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're not going to see it on the we got some daylight right now, but. You've got LED backlit knobs, which is kind of snazzy. You want to fire that up? See if it's it... on. Oh. It's just too, it's too bright out here. Oh, you can see it. All right. So that's, that's, you know, I mean, I don't think functionally it does a whole lot, but it does look nice, yeah. you, you know, know when you're cooking at night. So I think it's, I'm looking forward to using it. I think, yeah. well, you know, other than that grease trap, it's got, it, it checks all the boxes. So another feature that, and really this, this grill, it, it's packed with features that normally a more expensive grill would have, uh, is this right here. Whole tray slides out. So if you can take that out carefully and balance your grease, that might mitigate some of the problems with the grease trap. But we all know what happens with this, right? Is it gets fully coated with stuff that then catches on fire. So being able to get to this without having to disassemble the whole grill and vacuum it out with a shop vac, which is what we all do, that's huge to me. That's a that's awesome monument. And I have to correct myself on the LED lights on the front here, because I didn't realize they actually turn from white to red to let you know that you still have your gas on, which, which is... One that's, of the features, uh, the more expensive one that Chris has. Exactly, exactly. I didn't so, think that was going to have it. And that's nice because then at a glance you can see, you know, did I leave a burner on or did I leave a burner off? So, you know, all in all, there's not much I don't like about this. I, I feel like it should almost cost more, personally, but... Well, we'll double check the price, but I'm pretty sure it said four <laughs> yeah, Chris is second guessing himself <laughs> yeah. now. He's like, wait. I'm going to get a cease and desist. Take that video down. <laughs> yeah. So that runs through the that runs through the features. And we just lit this a couple of minutes ago. It's windy out, so this is a good wind test. Uh, and we're already up to 550, and that's without the broil zone burner on. Nice. Getting it ready for some chicken wings. I got you, I put it down somewhere. Oh, I got it right here. What do you mean? Were you drinking out of it? Of course. <laughs> can't, can't put it. <laughs> I got it. I got it somewhere. I can't find it. I don't know. It tastes good. <laughs> so let's get some food and get it on yeah. this thing. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. So we let this heat up about 10 minutes. You guys saw me or maybe you didn't. I rubbed it down with some vegetable oil just because it's cast iron. My cup is hot. <laughs> yeah, you probably know you gotta treat your cast iron grill grate the same way you treat a cast iron pan. We have this on high, it hits, what was it just, 700? 720, like over 700. Yeah, in about 10 minutes. So this, this unit puts out a lot of heat. So, get these going. See if we have any flare-ups or any complaints about it. You're not allowed to use the window, Nate. Only me and Chris can use the window. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, I mean, I have high hopes for this thing. Typically pretty critical of cooking appliances, but I have not much I can complain about. Speaking of cooking appliances. Wow, that's saying a lot. It is, it is. <laughs> I didn't think I'd hear that. Some of you guys in the comments from last week's video accused us of running an infomercial for that little Dezen pot. I just have to let you know, for the record, I bought both those pots. They did not send anything to us free. I don't even know the company at all. None of us do. I was just really, really impressed with it and wanted to share it. And Jeff apparently was too because <laughs> I loaned him a pot, and did you bring it back, Jeff? No. <laughs> and it's on its way to Boston right now with my daughter. Yeah. If you think we were an infomercial, I guess, you know, that means we shared a lot of information. But we didn't get paid, and we don't get any commissions. We get nothing from that. Right. But we did get this grill. This grill we did get sent to us for free. And thank you for that monument. What a great, they've been great to us. Great, great company to work with, for yeah. sure. And. Very impressive with are the grills. Are these different flavors, Chris? Do I have to worry about it? Well, uh, it doesn't matter now, because they're all going to get well, mixed Well, two up. of them are firecracker and one of them is buffalo, so uh, okay. they're all in the same family. <laughs> Look at the wings. We made a nice mess of Nate's new grill. Yep, wings look good though. Wings look good. We just fired up the broil zone just to test it. Oh, that thing's actually getting red hot down there. If you look at the fence. Yeah, we and we only turned it on a couple yeah. seconds ago. We're gonna ruin some we're gonna ruin some wings on purpose just to see how hot that thing gets. I was against this for the record, but 
Throw, eh, throw a couple on, see what happens. All right. He has to throw his. I was against it, Nate. You know. I was against. Well, I was. I was against it. I mean, these are good. These are good wings. Anything we would have said. That's like right. Jeff says that. That's we'll do first, two. That's all we need. Answer. <laughs> we'll do two. <laughs> Put a couple more on. Chris bought fifty. Oh, this is going to be unedible. You can tell. It's already picking up. All right. <laughs> Let's give this Not a minute. Edible. See what it looks. like. All right. So we had that lid closed for what? About a minute? Maybe one minute. And we. Uh, and we've got a nice. We got the chow. We're going to pick that for. up. Let's see how, how burned those guys are. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Jeff walked away. Jeff said it and walked right away. <laughs> so, so the sand burner works. The sand burner definitely works. Get this side a little bit. You said Jack likes them dark. Uh, you got yeah, a couple for does. him. We got a couple for him. All right. We're gonna take these. Uh, throw that one on there a little bit. Yeah. You know what? If you if you use it, a, you know, if you use it timing wise and you don't walk away, a lot of advantages to that. Oh, yeah. Some of these look kind of crispy. Who doesn't like crispy chicken wings? We're gonna take these in. We're gonna eat them. Yeah. Lunchtime. So we're just playing with this, uh, the sear section over here. Why don't you show that one how we quickly are, We that. already did, we already well, did. Well, right. well, you were off being lazy. But Chris is just moving them on here for a couple of minutes and they right. pick it up nice color real quick. Real quick, I mean, it is you know? perfect. You want it, you want that extra crispiness, it's perfect. I can't wait to use that with I mean, look at that. That was with, just a, what, 25 seconds, Nate? 30 seconds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marinated beef, you know, when it's, when it's real moist and it doesn't pick up color. Oh, can't yeah. wait to use that. That's very handy. I've never had that on a grill before. Like I'm that. looking forward to it. That is cool. All right. All right. So our uh, recommendation here is this is a hell of a unit. Love it. Very, value. very happy It's with a value it. buy. Yeah. High value Absolutely. buy. Absolutely. I, I have not seen, and I get, don't tell us this in infomercial. We did get this for free, but unbiasedly, this is a nice unit, especially for the price. I mean, it's got a ton of features. First time cook, cook, beautiful. Chicken, beautiful. The sear burner works well. Yep. You know, no complaints at all. Very sturdy, None. very, you know, bulky. I like it. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, Monument, for sending it. Shirley, and you're the best. Appreciate you. If you guys are in the market for a grill sub $500 price range, a huge contender right yeah, here. Check it out. Anybody can build. <laughs> anybody can build. Yeah, huge contender. <laughs> all right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. <laughs>